Today's readings gives us an early sense of the church and the missionary activity of Paul and Barnabas and how it was completely misunderstood with what they were doing, that people thought they were gods and wanted to make sacrifices to them because they didn't have enough time to be in relationship with Paul and Barnabas, to fully understand who they are as messengers of good news not gods. In the gospel, Jesus is talking to the apostles, and it's that same understanding that even though the apostles were with Jesus for a number of years, they still didn't quite capture all that he was trying to impart to them. The relationship still had to be developed. We, in our spiritual journey, it's a lifelong relationship with the Lord that we learn through private prayers, we learn through public prayers, memorize prayers, and then as we get older, we recognize that true relationship with the Lord really means sharing what's in our hearts, sharing our emotions and feelings, and giving the Lord truly what we are carrying with us. Sometimes the main re relationship with another takes effort, and in these days of isolation, how important is a phone call? How important maybe is to rediscover letter writing and mailing something? At the parish of Good Shepherd in Wayland, we are trying to maintain our relationship with our people. First, we sent out postcards to everyone in the family, uh, all of our families, saying, we're thinking of you. And here are the things that are still available. We are broadcasting daily reflections. We did a whole series on sacraments and another series on the positive Ten Commandments and then on the readings of the day, little five to seven minute snippets. Then we got on Facebook for daily Mass and Sunday Mass and then on local cable access because we discovered some of our older parishioners didn't have access to the website or Facebook. And so now we're on local cable TV, all in order to maintain a relationship with one another, to be present to one another. And the same is true in our spiritual journey, that we have to make an effort to keep that relationship with the Lord. We have to make an effort to set aside time for prayer. Yes, we might have a liturgy of the hours, definitely our rosary, but also to share with the Lord truly what we are carrying around with us. Hey, Lord, I miss my grandchildren. Hey, Lord, I miss going outside. Hey, Lord, this is getting to me. And that's all right to say that to the Lord, because the more we share, the deeper the relationship can be. Jesus knew that, and that is why he gave us the gift of himself in the Holy Eucharist to maintain that relationship. And in these days when we don't have access to public worship, TV mass and mass over cable is all the more important to maintain that relationship with the Lord. And even though we can't receive Holy Communion, we have that beautiful prayer of spiritual communion. Again, lamenting the reality that we do wish to receive you, but we can't. And and we say that prayer. So as we continue our spiritual journey, let us think of relationship. Paul and Barnabas in preaching, and the people didn't understand what they were doing. They thought they were gods because Paul and Barnabas didn't have enough of a relationship with the people. Jesus with the apostles was still training them and said, no, the Holy Spirit will come and give you the fullest message as we live out our faith in the world, let us ask the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit in our lives that we may maintain our relationship with God and maintain our relationship with our family and our parish family by intercessory prayer, by a card, by a letter, by a phone call. Let us work at our relationship.